portal can I help you? Well, I don't know. I got this message that says, you can hear it beeping. It says, uh, DLL register setting something has detected an error code. And the error code is 0x800-60402. And uh, what was you was trying to do on that time this message came out? Oh, wait a minute, let me shut this thing off. Okay. I was trying to go to my Gmail account. Okay, sir. First of all, sir, you have to just follow my instruction, okay? Just look on the keyboard. Okay. On the, le on the left side, bottom of the keyboard, you will see a window logo key. A four square box just look like a flag. Yep. You have to press and hold that key, press it and hold it. Okay, I got it. And with your another finger, you have to click on R, the letter R, R as in Romeo, and release both of the key. Okay, I, okay, it says run, type the name of the program you want. Okay, now sir, you have to type it, you have to type it out there, www. Okay. It's log me in. It's L O G, L as in Lima, O as in Oscar, G as in God, M as in Mary, E as in Edward, I as in Indiana, N as in Nancy. Okay. I did it. One two three. Oh. One two three dot com. Oh wait a minute! I didn't do the one two three. Okay. Oh, so one, two, three, log me in. One, two, three. Yeah, I got, um, now, it says, okay? now it says I need a six digit code. Okay, I'm providing you the code. Okay. It's one, two, six. One, two, six. Okay. Nine, zero, zero. Then click on start download. Okay. And right after download, you will see an options of run below your screen. Oh, yeah. Okay. Run. I see it. Oh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. It's connecting, sir. Oh. Okay, I see now. Now, what do you see on your screen, sir? It's got a, a little square box. This is a PC smart card connecting. But it doesn't appear to be connecting to anything. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Connected. Oh, is your computer. It, it's connected. My computer's about four years old. Okay. All right, sir. Now you will see some pop-ups on your screen. You have to click on Allow Access. Click OK. Click Yes. You have to hit all the positive responses. Okay. Nothing's popped up yet. It will come up, sir. Well, how did how did they get that warning? That's what I don't know. Uh, sir, I'm not sure about that, but uh, whenever you go to some corrupt list from there, it might be happen. All right, I hit OK on two things. Yes, sir. Now one more to go. Click OK. Uh-oh, support session established with Jimmy. Oh, okay. Click OK. Okay, remote control started by Jimmy. Are you Jimmy? No, sir, the technician who is going to help you 
His name is Jimmy. Oh. I will transfer this call. Okay, please be on the line. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Yeah, now I can. This is Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy, I, I, I got out of the thing. Nobody answered the phone. It was all staticky. Yeah, just close each and everything, right? Okay. Let's see. How do I get out of this rescue? Man? Close that. Close that page. see any X I'm clicking all over it it's not doing anything okay no problem sir no problem just leave it okay press and hold the windows and R again same time okay windows and R okay I got that run box again yeah on the run box you have to type www dot log me in well, 123.com. It's, it's still there from the last guy, so I'll just hit OK. All right, then hit, yeah, hit OK. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I need that uh, uh, six-digit code again. Yeah, your code is 362271. 362 Start download. Okay. It's kind of a and then thing. run. You have, sorry? It's kind of a pain in the neck here, won't huh. okay. The other connection was terrible. I couldn't hear anything. It was all static, so I hung up. I'm sorry for that, sir. Okay, it's connecting now to PC Smart Care. Yeah, that's me. I'm connecting with you. Okay. Now, the other guy couldn't tell me why I got that thing saying I had an error, a uh, uh, DLL error, and a bunch of Let numbers. Let me tell you, so, whenever you have a Windows or Microsoft computer, there is a install software by years. It means if your computer faces any problem at any point of time, these pops start popping up and asking you to call. And that's why I got this number. So, oh. we need to check what exactly going on, okay? Okay. Did you download any kind of games, movies, any software on a computer earlier? No. Wait a minute. I downloaded that uh, Adobe Flash Player earlier, but that was a while ago. Okay. I'm still waiting for it to connect. Yeah, it will, you will see now some pop-ups comes up on your screen. Do you have to click on OK, Allow, Yes. You have to give all the positive responses, okay? Okay. I'm, this thing's awful slow. Yeah, it seems like your computer is slow, so. Okay, it says support session established. Oh, I got to hit OK. Now, can you see? Yeah, I hit OK. Okay. And yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, oh. Did you click on OK? Yes. Yeah, it says support session established with you, Jimmy. Now click OK. Click on OK. I did. Oh, 
Okay, there's the okay. I clicked in. Yeah. Okay. All right, you did very well, sir. I really appreciate your book. Now I have the remote of a computer. Let me check it, okay? Okay. So yeah, that's the message you got today, right? There's the thing, yeah. So may I know what exactly you were doing, sir, what you were trying to do when you got this message? May I know? I, I was trying to go to Gmail. Just G okay. check my mail. I, I don't... And you are the only user of this computer or somebody? No, my grandson uses it, too. No problem, sir. First of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to scan your whole system so that we can diagnose the exact problem, okay? Let okay. me see that. As you can see, your whole network is scanning. It will take a few seconds. Please be there. Okay. Okay, I got the problem. Just look at you. Not work unsecured. 18. Eight, Eight devices connected. Lots of corruptions found. Wow. It means, sir, right now might be your neighbor, might be some other people from outside, is compromising your whole network by connecting their different, different devices. And that's why you are having a problem, because they are trying to block you so that they can able to get some secure information from your system. And you can see they are still connected with their 18 different different devices. Wow! I believe this. How they get how they get in there? I wonder. Let me tell you, sir. Whenever you or somebody else in your home doing any online stuff, suppose watching movies, online games, you will see some kind of pop-ups coming to your screen and asking you to click on it. So knowingly and knowingly, whenever you click on that pop-up, it allow other users to compromise, and that's why they have got your IP address. I want to show you the active connection, sir. Just wait. Then you understand. Okay. You can see that this is your username. This is the active connection. These all are the unauthorized IP address, which is connected with your PC. That name's camera, your network. And they all are established right now. You can see how many connected. Wow. That's a lot. First of all, sir, I... First of all, I suggest you please don't use any online banking, email, Facebook, nothing, because might possible your account detail will also share with some unauthorized people. Until unless your problem will not get fixed, don't use any online stuff. Okay. Okay. And yeah, I won't. Let me check one more. Let me check one more setting, then I'll let you know what we need to do. Okay. And this is the reason, sir. You know your computer is working slow because it's carrying a lots of corruptions. And you're not realizing that. Well, my grandson usually does all the computer work. He's pretty good. But I don't know what happened with me. No, what's this thing here? This uh, event. I'm just trying to, yeah. I'm just trying to show you the corruptions. It's it's oh. slow. Yeah, it's coming up. It's coming up. Just wait. You okay. can see all these corruptions, sir. As I told you, that person is still connected. Just look at this. And it's not just today. It's happening every day, every time, and you're not realizing. Which is more than 400 corruptions going to all of your devices. See that? Wow. Uh, how, can we just erase them? So for fixing this kind of problem, what I'm going to do, I'm going to transfer your whole session to my Microsoft Level 3 technician. First of all, they are going to block all unauthorized people. They will remove all these corruptions. And then they are going to put a very smart filter so that nobody can access your network again without your permission. And then we will securely connect your computer again and make it secure, okay? 
Oh boy. Here I'm just transferring. Okay. And before that, sir, I just before that, sir, I would like to let you know that after fixing all the problem, when you will see that your all the problem is fixed, everything is working fine, everything is secure. Then after, my senior technician will ask you to pay a nominal tag fee. So is it okay with you? Pay how, how much? The fee would be only ninety nine point nine nine. That's a one time technical fee after fixing all your problem. Two hundred. Two hundred. Uh, I don't know about that. I, I, because I, right now, you know. I, because right now, so it's not just. Go ahead. I, I can't pay two hundred hours. I'm gonna have to see if my grandson can fix it. Sir, uh, let me tell you, sir. It's not about the computer. You know, if you'll go with any computer guy, they can simply clean up a computer and take your money. But you'll keep facing the same problem. I know oh. your grandson can fix the computer, but they can only clean up your computer, sir. It's not just the computer. It's coming from outside, you know, which is going to all of your devices. And that's why we need to block those people anyhow first, because it's a critical problem, ma'am. It's about the virus and all. The reason I'm telling you because you are registered with the Microsoft. Your name is John Smelsky. Okay, you are my existing customer. So that's why once we are going to block those people, so it never happen again. That's the lifetime security. Yeah, but I don't know if I want to go for two hundred dollars worth of security. <laughs> so, but uh, because you know, if if you're not going to block those people, oh. it's possible you lose the computer. You know, and if you go and buy a new one, also again it can happen. That's why I'm giving you the form. Because as I can see that you, on your computer, so you don't have any kind of proper protection as well, right? You're not using any of any kind of protection. No. Even your even your avast is even your avast is also saying that you are unprotected. You can see. How that happen? Also got spired. Uh oh. Sorry. I don't know how that happened. So because these are the people, is they're blocking all the services, you know. And that's why, because you can see it's a free entire virus, it won't work properly. That's why we are going to put a smart filter on your network. So once it will turn, you're going, your computer is going to be secured permanently, sir. You don't need to buy any kind of security software, nothing. Because we are going to secure from our side. I'd better check with my grandson first before I pay $200. So you can remember, grand, your grandson is just a computer guy, you know, might be a computer expert. But well, he's, he's pretty the, good, though. He's, he's in the military. He's good with computers. I mean, that's what he does in the military, so. I understand, sir, but he, he's not a Microsoft certified. He don't have authority. What are you trying to do now? Put a sys key on? Won't work. Won't work, no, I'm not. You scammer, it won't work. What else are you going to try? Sorry, sir? What else are you going to try to do? Hi, try to put a sys key on now? You scamming fuck. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah, I hear you, you scammer. Sir, I'm just checking that word. You're not checking nothing. You tried to put a sys key on it, and I got a block. Come on. I think my first day at the rodeo? Oh, my God. I've had enough fun. I'll see you later. Goodbye.